Hello, this is Dan Bashenbauer from Video Pizzazz. And today I'm going to show you how to create an add on domain for your GoDaddy cPanel. I'm already logged into my GoDaddy account and I clicked on my products, and that's what I'm showing here. And I've already purchased a web hosting account and I purchased some domain. Now, if I come over here next to web hosting, I'll click on manage. I've already created a cPanel account using the domain name milwaukeeelectricexperts.com. And so now I'm going to be creating a add-on domain. And all that means is I'm going to be using the same cPanel for milwaukeeelectricexperts.com and then create a, another folder or subdirectory within inside my cPanel to create another domain hosting site. So I'll click on manage. And now what I want to do is create an add-on domain. So I can click add-on domains up here, or if I scroll down to domain area, you can click on an add-on domain here. So I'm just going to come back up to the top here, click on add-on domains. The domain name I'm going to create now is going to be called Milwaukee Septic and Drain Pros.com. And it says it's available. And when I click again outside here, it automatically populates my subdomain name. And then it tells me where it's going to create that subdirectory. So my domain name folder is going to be called. Milwaukee Septics and Drain Pros, and it's going to be put under public underscore HTML. And you can create an FTP account if you'd like for FTPing files and folders up to your domain. But I find that using File Manager in uh, my cPanel work area does that just fine. So I'm not going to create an FTP account. And you'll notice right now that there are no add-on domains configured. But now if I click on Add Domain, okay, so it says that that domain has been created. And if you would like to manage the files for this domain, you can do it here with File Manager. So if you click on File Manager, it took me right into that domain area. You can see here that it's public underscore HTML slash Milwaukee septic. And you can't read the rest of it, but it says drain. Now if I come up here and click on my products and then expand out my web hosting here, it still says that I only have one cPanel account, which is true. But with inside that cPanel account now, I will have multiple domains. So if I come over here and click on Manage, that brings me into my main cPanel. And then if I click on File Manager, I can use the pull down here and I'll see my main account of MilwaukeeElectricExperts.com and Milwaukee Septic and Drain Pros. So I can select either one of these. So if I select this guy, Click on Go. It brings me right into that work area. So from here, I can upload files to my website. I can upload themes, plugins, whatever I want if I happen to have a WordPress site. All right, so if you ever want to see your subdomains of your cPanel, you can, next to web hosting here, you can click on Manage. Click on Manage for the main cPanel of your hosting account. And then if you click on Add-on Domains, now I'm not going to add on a domain right now, but if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see all your add-on domains listed here. In my case, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Here's the root path in my directory tree. Here's my username, and then you can remove or manage these accounts.
All right, so I hope you found this video useful, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.